All right, good morning. Day 163. Uh, that's the 13th day of September. There's that Nizama sign we saw yesterday. And of course, Hearts Pass, a guard station sign, which we also saw yesterday. It's, uh, what was it, 808, 809 maybe now? Yeah, excuse me, 809 in the morning. Um, the thermometer said uh, 40, 45 degrees even, but I think it's still dropping uh, because I just got out of the back of that truck. Yeah, got to ride back up here to Hearts Pass. I'm trying to figure out where in the blazes the trail goes. No pun intended. Um, yeah, 35.5 miles to get to Manning Park from where I'm standing. So, um, wound up not getting any laundry done yesterday, which is fine. I did wake up early and take a shower this morning. Um, so I got my clean underwear, clean socks, and then my shirt and pants, of course, are still dirty, but everything's dirty, who cares? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how far I'm gonna go today. I don't, don't plan on doing 35, that's for darn sure. Um, I could do 35 and like roll into Manning really late and not be able to get a hitch at all. Or I could do like something more sensible today and then a short day and get to Manning in the morning tomorrow. Um, and I think that makes a lot more sense for, for hitching purposes. Uh, looks like all the trains from Vancouver to Portland are no longer available. Um, and looks like flights are like 800 bucks. So looks like it might wind up being a bus uh, from Vancouver to Portland, which sounds like not too great, but uh, is what it is. We'll see what, what opens up as we get closer to that time. Um, it's about all I got, really. Um, I didn't resupply at all, but I also realized that if I have one dinner, I have enough. So um, didn't need, didn't really need another dinner if I'm just doing one night out. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure where in the heck the trail is. I'm gonna have to figure this out. All right, well, I'm gonna get hiking and I'll talk to you guys later. Out on the trails under the stars at one with the world just step after step watch the sun setting slept under the moon these are the days I'll never forget travel and beat with the earth beneath my feet I will walk to the rhythm of a traveling beat, traveling beat. With the earth beneath my feet, I will walk to the rhythm of the traveling beat. Always loved the mountains Ever since I was young I was craving adventure Never took the step but Then in the darkness When the world went insane I knew there was something I'd never forget Travel and beat with the earth beneath my feet I will walk to the rhythm Of the traveling beat Traveling beat With the earth beneath my feet I will walk to the rhythm Of the traveling beat Traveling beat With the earth beneath my feet I will walk to the rhythm of a traveling beat.
All right, good afternoon, folks. It is 127 and 56.8 degrees. We have made it at long last to my very final view dedication. A bunch of folks donated to the hike and I got quite a view for you here from Rock Pass. So let's look off this way. We can see we have a Holman Peak. It's sort of this mountain here in the foreground. A lot of big crumbly stones. This is kind of generally in the trail north direction that we're looking. Uh, generally and as far as like a 180 degree axis. So that's uh, that's gonna be Holman Peak back here. As we pan around, we have uh, Powder, I think it's called Powder Mountain right here. This is this peak just kind of right up here. All of this is going to be uh, after slicing up this mountain range. Um, this is the Shawl Mountains, S-H-U-L-L. -L the Shawl Mountains, these wonderful stony mountains you've seen some shots of here in the past little bit. Um, a whole bunch of folks have donated to the hike. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, this view dedication is going to go out to Harold, uh, is it Kalkstein, uh, Donald Greenwood, Mark McDonald, Kevin Russell, uh, Jennifer, is it Dial, Dilly? Uh, D I'm sorry, Jennifer, anyways, uh, Michael Irving, uh, Lonnie Shooks, Ingrid, and Ryan Leninger. Uh, a bunch of you guys were kind and generous enough to donate to the hike here on the penultimate day is when, uh, is when I'm recording this. Oh, and of course, uh, Darren Bagnell. I didn't forget about you. I really appreciate you putting this spot on my radar, Darren. Um, uh, again, if any of you guys are interested to donate to the hike, all those links are going to be in the description for every single one of these videos. Um, there's PayPal, there's Venmo. There's also buy me a coffee is a, is a neat little service. So again, we have a, I forget already, is it Holstead, Holman something peak? <laughs> and then a Powder Mountain right back here behind me. Um, and just as a kind of reference point, I'm gonna be going over Woody, Woody Pass next, which is in this frame. Let me just double check which one of these passes is Woody Pass. So, Looks like Woody Pass is going to be just here on the shoulder of Powder Mountain. So kind of in the in the center of the frame there, you can see a little peak uh, back behind, peeking out from behind the pass. So anyways, guys, to all of you who have donated for this hike this entire time, that, that response has been amazing. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I don't, this is the first time I've ever mentioned this on a video, but for those of you who have donated in years past uh, on hikes previous, you know that um, you can expect a postcard in appreciation, a handwritten postcard from me after this hike. Um, it might take me a little while to, uh, to get it to you because uh, I got to design it and get it out and everything. Um, but yeah, I'll be reaching out to everyone who's, who's, who's donated on Venmo or PayPal or anything else. I'm asking you guys if you're interested, I'm happy to take down your address and I'll definitely get a postcard out to you. So if you haven't been able to donate uh, up to now and you'd be interested in receiving a postcard from me after the hike, um, definitely uh, go ahead, drop a donation and, um, and be sure to include your name and address and I can definitely get a postcard out to you as well since you've kind of missed out on view dedications at this point. But hopefully that'll kind of make it worthwhile for you and, and more than anything, just give me an opportunity to really uh, to, to demonstrate my appreciation for your support. So anyways, I uh, still got a little ways yet to go today and uh, I'm going to get after it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And Darren, again, thank you for putting this on my radar. I really appreciate that. So I'll talk to you guys later. Dream I heard a warning Sing me 
folks, it is 6.04 in the evening and 60.4 degrees. That's kind of nice, isn't it? 6.04 and 6.04. I've not made it to home for the night. I'm still about, uh, probably about a half mile or so from where I'm gonna be camping. Um, a nice little babbling little stream. But, uh, just wanted to check in, see how y'all are doing. I, uh, decided about, I don't know, two hours ago, three, maybe three, two or three, um, to push a little bit today to do just a few more miles than I was planning on doing and go ahead and tag this terminus tonight and uh, as I talk to you right now it shouldn't be but maybe a quarter mile or so maybe a little more um, ahead of me and then uh, there might be a tent site right there I can camp at there might be Someone already at that, that campsite, that one tent site. If there is someone there, then I'll just skip across the border. There's another campsite just on the north side of the border. Crazy, man. Crazy. Um, I don't really have like a divine narrative to give you right now. I don't really have a whole, <laughs> a whole lot to say. I know before I hiked the AT two years ago, Gosh, three years ago, I guess I finished whatever, July 2021. Um, I really thought that getting on a through hike and being out there and hiking for so long would uh, open up all sorts of like new philosophies and deep meanings and things like this. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know it's changed me. But I think that our whatever, like our culture, you know, going all the way back to probably ancient times, kind of would very much prefer a succinct arc, which culminates at the end of a through hike in a profound message or a, a deep meaning or some sweet, thoughtful, new philosophical insight or something. And at least for me, I haven't really found that. <laughs> I haven't found it. I mean, I've found it's a lot of things. Challenging, rewarding, um, frustrating as all heck. Um, really the source of a lot of pride, to be honest. But, um, but I haven't found it to yield cute, concise m messages like that. Um, and so now, whatever, 163 days after saying farewell to my amazing wife at the Mexican border. Um, you know, in, in, uh, in search of this triple crown, I, uh, you know, the end is near. The end is pretty much almost, almost right here. Um, and I don't have anything super concise to share with you, but I guess what through hiking has done for me is I always say clean. I feel like it cleans my mind. It makes everything more sensible. Just slower. You know, you get to trust the universe a little bit more than you might otherwise. You get to trust your fellow fellow man a little bit a lot um, trust in the power and the resilience of nature and the beauty of it and uh, I think if you're doing it right you can't help but you know for all the for all the pride and stuff that it may stoke and it does stoke I think you can't help but feel humble really humble and really small and uh it's funny because I think so much of so much of our society or whatever is really driven and defined almost by um, this like insatiable quest not to feel humble 
or small. <laughs> um, but I think that in so feeling, um, one comes closer to truth. Um, and it's just, it's been a remarkable, really, really, really remarkable adventure. Um, not just this trail, the previous two, you know, my whole hiking career up to here, for, you know, if you want to put it that way. I feel like that's a strange way to put it, but... Um, it's just weird, man. It's just weird. I, uh, I never thought I'd be here. And here I am. You know? I can't help but think how, uh... What, how... Resonant or in accordance that sort of thought must be with, you know, my brother uh, Stardust who didn't metastasize into human form with intellect and cognition and consciousness, at least not, not in ways which present to mine. Or, you know, whatever. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah. What a really, really, really cool adventure it's been. And how thrilled I've, I've been to, to be on it. And I don't know what's next. I know a lot of the, a lot of the viewers of this channel. Um, I know a lot of you guys are interested to know what's going to come next. But, you know. I say just about every night and every morning that I don't really know exactly how it all is going to shake out and I could I could say that about any aspect of life, be that my next hike or whatever else. I don't really know what's next, but um, what an amazing, amazing, amazingly fortunate fellow I am to have had the experiences I've had, to have had your support, you know, and encouragement an interest and uh boy I, I sure hope i sure hope that these trails have brought you some some joy as well oh man if you can't tell by my face oh it's Heiko what's up bud let's see Oh, dude. Congratulations. There it is. Congratulations you, man. Congratulations you. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Sorry, yeah, I got all that stuff kind of like... No, nah, you're good, bro. You're I good. Didn't I didn't expect anyone to come here. Let me get this out of the way. For you're you. good, bro. You're good, you're good. I don't care. Isn't that incredible? Look at that. Bring it in. Bro. Yeah, it absolutely. In. Beat, my man. We did it. That's Heiko, by the way. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> oh, man. I just figured I'd be here solo. I've just been jamming out. I cracked Good. a beer. Good. I got one. I'll crack it open as well. Nice. I just got a, I got yeah, a vibe. Yeah, it in, man. Do what you got to do. I got a vibe for a sec. A little box back here. Man. Canada.
right, 7.48 in the evening, 47.6 degrees, just left, <sighs> left the northern terminus. Um, pretty crazy. I got about a quarter mile to get to camp. Just uh, had a great time hanging out with uh, Heiko from New York. Um, good dude, had a good time. Just hanging out and sharing a, sharing a beverage with him. Um, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot more to say than that, but the PCT's done and I'm officially a triple crowner, so that's pretty neat. That's definitely pretty neat. It's cold, it's late, so I'm gonna get to camp. I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna cook some din, and then I'm gonna crash out and uh, see if I can't get a hitch tomorrow and go see that beautiful, beautiful girl I'm lucky enough to call my wife, so. We'll talk to you all tomorrow.